So let's see President Trump arriving uh, moments ago in Corpus Christi, Texas. He's being briefed on the uh, storm relief efforts right now on the right, uh, rescue efforts that continue pretty much across the greater Houston area. Uh, talk that the president will visit that uh, maybe as soon as Saturday when he returns to the state. To the Independent Journal Review's Aaron McPike, Washington Examiner's Gabby Margarella on how the president is dealing with his first natural disaster crisis. Um, Gabby, what do you think? Well, I think this is really a milestone in his presidency and certainly something that his predecessors really didn't have to face until well into their first or second term. Um, but he's handling it well so far. I think the White House has been very much coordinated on uh, their response and has worked with local and state officials to ensure that not only is the president up to date on what's happening in Houston and other areas that have been impacted by this storm, but um, also, you know, what local officials on the ground need in order to rescue people and begin to, to rebuild those areas. And so, I think that this trip certainly marks, uh, sets a different tone for this president, and it'll be interesting to see how he handles it and if he returns later this week, um, whether he's still disciplined and on message and, and able to really show off his leadership. Um, you know, Aaron, one of the things that he has talked about is that he will provide any and all resources uh, Texans need uh, to be okay, and, and that has raised the possibility that he will go ahead and hike the debt ceiling, attaching probably a rescue effort plan to keep the government open. Um, what do you hear about that? Well, I think that is one of the most important things in terms of his response. Can he get that through? Can he get it through cleanly? And will he follow through? I think Gabby is right. Look, I think going back on Saturday will be very important because this is just the beginning, really, of the response. You'll note that President Trump is on the ground with several other cabinet secretaries. Right. So it does look as though this administration is taking this head on and very seriously and putting really a full throttle effort forward, at least today, if they continue that into Saturday and then maybe President Trump comes back uh, in a month, that will show that he is really on this and following through. And Gabby, a lot depends on the follow through. I mean, Katrina, the, the enormity of it came after the fact with the flooding and, then, and with the levees that were breached and all of this. Uh, we're, we're seeing that this flooding is going to be an ongoing problem uh, you know, for days, maybe weeks. Um, then, then people's patience might wear it then. Obviously, the president might be looking at this to remind people this is a long slog, right? Absolutely. I mean, the FEMA administrator, Brock Long, was on television earlier this week saying that this is going to be a years-long effort to uh, rebuild parts of Texas that have been devastated by this catastrophe. And I think that the president realizes the gravity of the situation, and we've seen that both in his remarks yesterday and in the fact that he's trying to, you know, push two visits down to Texas into one week. He's really committed to showing that his administration will be there, but his actions have to meet his words. And I think that's yeah. what's going to be important to to take a look at next week when Congress returns to see if he continues to push this rhetoric on a government shutdown, um, whether his administration continues to push for cuts to FEMA, that's going to be interesting as well. Um, but certainly, you know, if he's saying he's committed to one thing, but then urging the government to, to push uh, for funding for his border wall and simultaneously approving a government shutdown, it's really going to be difficult well, to take yeah, him out of That might not happen now, and this event could change it, and obviously it would be an event to go on to and remind people. Uh, ladies, I want to thank you both on some breaking news here. This